Hey, what is up Wolfpack? Today we are going to be going over our top 10 personal favorite Black Ops 3 custom zombies maps from the entirety of 2022. This list is based on map quality, replayability, fun factor, and easter eggs. We're not ranking them from best to worst or anything like that, but rather this is just a list of our favorites in no specific order. Also, before we begin, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel to help us eventually reach 100,000 subscribers as that is kind of the ultimate goal. And lastly, be sure to check out our cool new zombie themed merch linked in the description down below. Also, our list of top 10 maps from 2021 is in the top card up above as well. But without further ado, let's just get right into this. Each map's gameplay will be linked in the pinned comments down below if you'd like to check any of them out or get the link to download them from those videos descriptions. First up, we have Mori Rebirth by Emox Manga. This map featured elemental shrink rays, a unique puke gun, zombie monkeys, and a full easter egg with an intense boss fight. The entire map is very reminiscent of Black Ops 4 zombies and could very well be an officially made map. I have to admit that it could be a bit challenging though, so be wary. It could be described as a cross between Alpha Omega and the original Mori, if you know what that map is. It even has different game modes to choose from within the map, all of which is pretty cool. Second up, we have Astoria by Hibs. Keeping in the theme of Black Ops 4, this map sincerely feels like a cross between Buried and Dead of the Night. It features Easter eggs, Call of Duty World War II weaponry, a werewolf boss, and a lot more. The awesome Alistair's Folly also makes an appearance as the main wonder weapon of the map. It was truly a fun experience and is relatively casual for the most part. With that said, it definitely deserved a spot on our list. Third up, we have Gatekeeper created by 4-2. This map is a normal survival map with no main easter egg. However, there are plenty of things to discover and perhaps some traps to avoid as well. The map is absolutely stunning and is set in a medieval European castle. It's a great map for visuals and just playing for fun. Mods and weapon packs work well on this map and can help increase replay value of the map overall. The map is a bit more on the challenging side, but yet it's still awesome to see all of the sights and sounds. Fourth up is the amazing map Damned of the Moor 3 by Alpha Thesus. The map is set in a giant prison reminiscent of Mob of the Dead, but the gameplay itself feels more like Cold War. Amazingly, the map allows you to time travel back and forth between the 1950s and the 1980s, significantly changing the map and even the weaponry for purchase. There's a plethora of unique wonder weapons, a full easter egg, side quests, and even a somewhat optional challenge round. Beware of Brutus though. This map can be casual friendly in the more open areas, but might be a bit more intense in the close quarter interiors. But with that said, it's a truly memorable experience. Halfway through our list is the unique map Overload created by Madgaz. This map feels like a cross between Alpha Omega and the Transit Power Station. It features two brand new custom perks, side quests, and even a full easter egg with an intense boss fight with the Avogadro throughout multiple stages. Overall, the map is a bit challenging, but it's plenty fun nonetheless. All this and more puts Overload on our top 10 list. Number 6 on our list is Sidemen House by Ice Grenade. This map was made for the Sidemen and is seemingly a recreation of their huge house, including the front yard and back. It's definitely a challenge map as the zombies will be sprinting, though an easy mode might actually be featured. It has a wide variety of weapons from different Call of Duty games, there's a perkaholic easter egg quest, a main quest leading to a boxing ring holdout, and so many references including a thousand plus custom sounds. It's a good challenge and can be a lot of fun. Just be ready to fill up some soul boxes though. 
Seventh up, we have Westland created by Planet. This map is sort of a cross between Buried and De Machina. It features a custom wonder weapon, side quests, and other special weaponry. There's a full made Easter egg and uniquely, not one, but two amazing boss fights. You can actually choose which one you want to fight each time you play. The map is overall not too challenging, at least until you do the boss fights. But nonetheless, if you enjoy Buried, you'll likely enjoy this map as well, as it's just a lot of fun. Eighth up on our list is the unique and amazing Cartano by Zeroy and Madgaz made for the relaxing end. It's a challenge map with sprinting zombies and yeti mini-bosses, featuring several side quests, secret ray gun variations, the return of the jet gun, and a main easter egg with an extraction. There's plenty of unique melee weapons on the map as well, and countless references to the relaxing end. It has many unique aspects, such as being able to play as the relaxing end himself, or even Ted from Transit. It's a lot of fun once you learn the map, and there's much to do on it. Ninth up, we have Sea Town, short for Cyberpunk Town by Logical. This map is a cyberpunk reimagining of the MW3 multiplayer map called Sea Town, but you can hardly tell. It's very unique, generally close quarters, and has a lot to it. There's masks, side quests, a whole looting system, and the awesome aesthetic of Cyberpunk 2077 with a lot of custom created content. The map also has a simple but somewhat challenging main easter egg with an epic boss fight that has multiple stages and even parkour. The boss is more on the casual side, but does require teamwork and co-op, while the map itself is a bit more intense in general. Overall, the map was a lot of fun though, and deserved a spot on our list. Last up on our list, before we get into the extra honorable mentions that is, we have Dark Plan created by Blue Shark and Simbo. This map features the Spectral Shield, a really great wonder weapon, a camouflage specialist ability, and custom AI. The map is definitely more on the challenging side with a clown mini boss and the slasher as well. There's a unique scrap looting aspect to the map, beautiful scenery, and a full easter egg with a crazy boss fight with the giant slasher. It was a challenging map, but was still fun to overcome and just play. All this and more puts it on our list. Now, getting into some honorable mentions that were good maps overall, but were just simply not in our top 10 favorites, there's Infection, set in the Black Ops 3 campaign universe, really challenging but very unique with wall running challenges and weaponry. Yoshi Circuit was a fun, colorful map with an easter egg and relatively casual in terms of difficulty. Chicky Park was a really unique map set in a sort of wipeout type of map with obstacles, fun gameplay, and even a jetpack that you can earn. Valley was a crazy map with a big main easter egg, wild gameplay, and amazingly unique ray gun variations. Lastly, there was Carnival, which was a recreation of the classic MW2 DLC map featuring side quests and a main easter egg. Overall, these were our absolute favorite maps from all of 2022 in Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. All maps will be linked in the pinned comments down below, but let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are some of your favorites from 2022? Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed and found this useful. Be sure to smash that like button to show your support, subscribe for more Zombies content, and I'll see you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace out.